Welcome to the CNC Mini Projects Getting Started video for Aspire users. The short video will help you understand how to use a mini project in Aspire. First things first, in order to make the best use of our mini projects, we expect that you have a good working knowledge of your software and your CNC machine. Also, we hope that you have read the information located on the Getting Started page of cncminiprojects.com. If you haven't, then we recommend that you take the time and read it now. This video is part of a series of videos that will be used as tutorials for all of our projects. Every project we offer will assume that you have watched these. Some projects may require a special video to be offered. If this is the case, look for it on the individual project page. We don't want you to get hurt, so make sure that you work safely. We are assuming that you have downloaded the free Heart and Ribbon CNC Mini Project and unzipped it someplace where you can find it. You may want to print out the project sheet and have it handy for inspiration or for quick reference. The project sheet was reviewed in the first video in this series, so we will not be going over it in detail here. How to create the basic heart and ribbon model using the models contained in the free CNC Mini Project. Okay, this is Aspire 3.5, so what we're going to do is we are going to create a uh, new file. I'm going to make sure that it's 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters, about 10 millimeters thick. Make sure the datum is in the center. Make sure it's in millimeters as well. We're going to go with the uh, very high um, resolution here. We're going to click OK. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Import, 3D Model. We're going to go and find our heart.3D clip file. Open that up. And there it is. Puts it nicely in the center of our model. We're going to go File, Import in the ribbon. Open that up. It's going to put it in the model as well. But now we're going to need to go and change the combined mode of the ribbon. So we're going to right click on the ribbon, go to combine mode and go merge. And we are almost there. We just need to go to the 2D mode and grab the ribbon and move it down just a little bit on the heart. And go to the 3D mode. And there you have it. How to create a custom heart and ribbon model using the models contained in the free CNC mini project. Okay, this is Aspire 3.5. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new file. We're going to make sure that the size is 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters. It's 10 millimeters thick. The origins in the center of the datum set to millimeters. We are going to go with a very high resolution and we're going to click OK. We're going to go up to File, we're going to import in a 3D component or 3D model. We're going to go with the ribbon, open that up. It's going to pop right in the center, so we're just going to pull it down a little bit. We're going to want to flip that model to the, uh, on the center to the left. So we're going to go and flip it. Perfect. Close. And then we're going to double click on it and we're going to rotate it just a little bit. Done. And we're going to stretch it just a little bit. Like so. Okay, now we're going to go back up and file, import in another 3D model. We're going to go back and get the heart. Open that up. It's going to put it in the center. I'm going to check the 3D view. You'll notice that the combine mode is set wrong, so we're going to right click on the heart, combine mode, and we're going to make that merge. So we can scoot around that and take a look at it going to do now is we're going to move that heart off to the side and we're going to rotate it just slightly and tuck it in there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go file, import in another heart, and we're going to scoot that one over this way, we're going to rotate it just slightly that way, and then we're going to take a look at the 3D mode and we'll see again we need to change the combined mode to merge and you'll see that they are now overlapping. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go in and tilt this heart up over top of the other heart. So we're going to go and double click on this heart and we've got the tilt option. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the tilt. We're going to set an anchor. One here and one at our 3D mode and we are going to tilt it up just 
just a little bit to wait till it peaks over top of the other one. Perfect. And you can see now it's starting to creep over top of our, our ribbon. That's no problem. We're going to go to our ribbon and we're actually going to make it a little higher. We'll make it 9.5 millimeters. And now we have it. A brand new configuration using the CNC Mini project. If after you have watched all the videos and you still have questions, feel free to contact us by filling out the contact form located on the contact us page at cncminiprojects.com. Thanks for watching. This video has been Weekend CNC Warrior approved.